Welcome to America's great collection of hot rods, motorcycles, and trucks. Most people call it the O'Reilly Auto Parts World of Wheels, and it happens right here in Chicago. Hi everybody, I'm Doc Riley. It's my pleasure to be the host of this big weekend event where we've got everything from vintage race cars to the Riddler winner at the Detroit Autorama that's on display and pretty much everything in between. One of the great things about this event here in Chicago is it really pays tribute to Chicago's car culture. A lot of the different car clubs that make up that culture have selected their best vehicles and put them on display here at the Donald Stevenson Convention Center. Of course, this event also has touring folks that are here that travel almost every single weekend during the winter months to compete on the Summit Racing Equipment Show Car Series. Competitors from Quebec, Canada and Ontario, all the way down into Tennessee and Florida, and all the way out west to Florida, and all the way east to New Jersey. They've all come to Chicago to put their car on display and have it in competition to see if they can be one of the best in the International Show Car Association. Of course, the World of Wheels also has its share of celebrities, and this weekend we've welcomed everyone from AJ Styles of the WWE to Tony Stewart, NASCAR legend, who's still racing right now, even though he's not in a cup car, he spends a lot of time in a dirt car. And Dave Kindig, one of those up and coming builders who has an incredible great TV show. His handiwork is also on display here, but he had an opportunity to meet and greet some fans. The World of Wheels is not a new car show and it's not an old car show. It's a show for everyone to come and enjoy the American car culture. And there's a lot of different spots to that car culture, a lot of different spokes, you might say. Motorcycles, street rods, street machines, muscle cars, and traditional rods. You know what? Let's take a look at some of the incredible vehicles on display here at the O'Reilly Auto Parts World of Wheels. Hi, we're here at the 2019 World of Wheels Chicago. My name is Jordan Quintal. We're here to competing for the Legend Cup here at the World of Wheels in Chicago. Um, this is a 1959 Eldorado Broham, one of 100 1959. The, the Cadillac that never made a wagon of. Um, we put a, a, a Nomad top on it. It's been a chop, section, shortened. A uh, lot of one-off pieces on this thing. Uh, it has a transaxle in the rear. Uh, it's been narrowed four and a half inches. Uh, it has a big block Chevy in the front, twin turbo. Uh, 1,025 horsepower, twin 88 millimeter turbos. Uh, handmade dash, handmade roof. It's been a uh, section two inches. Uh, we also won the 2019 Riddler in Detroit. It's probably the most ex prestigious award uh, for a car enthusiast. Uh, windshields out of a, a Chevelle. It's been chopped and narrowed down. Uh, originally designed by uh, Penafrina, which is an Italian designer that was uh, coach built in the 50s. So we, we took a... a um, uh, a, a rare car and cut it up to make a, a hot rod. So the wheels are inspired by a 1959 Eldorado Broham that, that's been uh, larger from a 15 to a 18. Uh, handmade moldings all the way around it, all made out of brass. Um, let's see what else I go around here. As a 4080 transmission with a dip bolted to it. It's out of a C5 Corvette. All the accessories are underneath. So power steering, alternator, starter, flywheel is on the back. It's always spinning. Um, the steering wheel is a shrunk down version of a 1950 Eldorado Broham because originally they're uh, about 16 inches. I believe it's a 14 now because obviously it has power steering now, much easier to turn. Um, you know, Cadillac never, has never made a wagon. So our whole theme was, why would a Cadillac, what would Cadillac do to make a wagon? So the inspiration 
the class that Cadillac has. We wanted to carry that theme all the way through. And, uh, you know, so one of the first questions everyone has is, like, oh, I Cadillac, I didn't know Cadillac made a wagon. Well, this car started off to be a four-door sedan, and we made it into a wagon. So, it has all round tube chassis, uh, inch of five-eighths, all handmade. Every suspension piece is handmade. So inside the CADMAT, uh, we have uh, seats out of a 2011 CTSV. Um, the dash is handmade completely. Gauges are classic instrument, one off for us. The wood, the wood is hand painted on the dash, with where the the dash wraps around into the door. So you, when the doors are shut, it has a wraparound feel, uh, of, so you can see the elegance of what what, what Cadillac says and screams. Um, it's all handmade, console handmade. Uh, uh, the AC components are there, the starter, the windows. I mean, everything is right there in the center there on the console. Uh, the seats are fringed into the, say, the, the cockpit, so it looks like they're embedded into the car, which were handmade for that. The, the pedals and, and the gas pedal there are one-off uh, with the Cadillac logo on there, uh, with uh, baked into there, so it's not painted, so it doesn't rub off and you say your feet's touching it, you know, that's for when you're in the cockpit and you're driving down the road there. All right, so all the accessories on this car is all, all behind in the, by the transmission. So the old enters in the side, the starters in the center, AC pumps on the other side, and on the other side is there's uh, the power steering pump. So that's all custom one-off machine for this vehicle. And that is to keep the motor clean with no, no accessories on it. I mean, uh, the, the suspension mounts to the, to the transmission pan, that's all custom. Um, it's all handmade. Uh, spindles, uprights, uh, a, lot, a lot of engineering design there. All right, so a lot of people ask, how do would you say take this rear tire off this car? So it has a a, a, a flange that bolts to another flange, which is has five dowels and five bolts, and, then, and the spindle upright. There's a hole. You spin it around, take the five bolts out, and you pop it off, and it slides down half inch off the hub. So the tire will directly drop out out of the bottom of it and that's what, how we got away with no skirts on the vehicle all right so the back of the cad mat here um, it, it still says a lot of cadillac eldorado broham from 1959 uh, these buckets been cut through the center the sandwich to get the section out of it and then obviously when they got narrowed those had to be narrowed up you know all this, this wood back here uh, i don't know recall the, the wood grade or what kind of wood it is um, the hatch is custom made, custom windows. This, this is all handmade stuff back here uh, by Super Rides there in Escondido, which, who's a car builder. There shows the back hatch closed on the Cadillac. Um, you know, show the roof profile, all this custom panel work back here. Uh, the tail lights are one-off, which inspired the 60 Cadillac, uh, which are much smaller. So all this, all this is custom. This has been cut sections through here, so that means you, you take some space out of it. Uh, the bumper's been fitted to maximum, so there's no say would say butt cheeks. You know, so it's nice and flat across. The body's been filled to the outside. You know, to make sure you know it, it fits correctly. So one thing you notice on the 50 uh, CADMAD is you know when you, when you shut the door, there's no rocker gap here. So there's two vertical lines going straight up and down, which uh, gives a real nice clean look. So there's no 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 body gap to do there, no no, no gapping. Uh, moldings are are custom handmade to mimic this body crest. Those are all made out of brass. Um, All right, inside the engine bay of the CADMAD, uh, we got a 632 big block twin turbo. Uh, makes 1,025 horsepower at seven pounds of boost. Uh, it was made, made by Tom Nelson, uh, Nelson Race Engines in California.
So inside the engine bay, also the sheet metal surrounding the motor is all custom handmade, uh, round radius corners. So to keep the real smooth look, showcasing the motor, you know, because that's a piece of jewel that's that's inside of there. Um, underneath the hood's completely smooth, firewall's smooth, nothing mounted on it. Um, custom hinges for the hood. Front bumper area of the CAD Mad, um, it's been narrowed four and a half inches so when you narrow something like that all these angles change you know so where we split it we made we made it so there's no butt cheeks so that means there's no the flow just goes right into it uh, we also lowered the license plate frame it used to stick up high here and we didn't want to cover the grill we wanted to showcase how classic this grill is so we pushed that down it's all been fitted perfectly for that uh, the grill is one of the most intricate things that you can see a lot, I mean, the chrome, there's like, I believe there's over 250 pieces to assemble this grill. The headlight rings, just beautiful, all, all fitted. I mean, it's, it's, this is just a piece of jewelry up here, in my opinion. Underneath, on the bottom side of the cab mat, underneath the motor, this is a showing how the piping goes with the turbo from, from actually the, from the motor. So you see the wastegate, you see how it travels through the frame, through the control arms, you know, supplying the heat to the turbo so you can spin those suckers and make horsepower, you know. So you also see a little glimpse of the chassis, some of the control arms, of the lower control arms, all hand built. All right, so the completion of this vehicle was a total of uh, 16 years in the work. It took about 10 years of, of actual work. Uh, we did some other, car, other cars in between. But the whole drive is to go compete for the Riddler in Detroit. And then also the, this show we're at now, which is where you compete for the Legend Cup. So the Legend Cup is they, they pick a top 20 and then they knock it down to the select six. We are right now currently in the select six. Uh, tomorrow they will, they will determine uh, who's the winner. And uh, this is all built there, uh, supervised by Jordan Eskia, California. Well, we built the whole car. They're there, and uh, thanks for having me.